concept called as root now which can be followed as by some other words from each other longer words let's call this word as derivative so you will be given something for example when the root help is followed by the word full we can form a derivative called as helpful so helpful is a word but the root in that is help full is just another word added after help now given a dictionary consisting of many roots so you have many roots so this dictionary has root words root words and a sentence consisting of like separated by spaces replacing all the derived words so this sentence contains derived words right for me if a derived word can be replaced by more than one root replace it with the root that has the shortest length so i have to make sure that i have to replace this derived word with its corresponding root and if let's say again let's say for example this is rattled so i can replace it with rat only right now but for example if i also had in my root word as rattle r uh, let's say r a t t l e if i had this rattle also as my root word so you can see i have two root words for a single derived word in that case you should still replace your derived word with the smallest root word which is rat in this case thus i have to transform this entire string sentences and make a new string by transforming all the derived words with their corresponding root words if it is not possible simply paste the existing word itself for example in this case you will see the we don't have any of the prefix of the here so which means i have no root of the here when i say root i mean t th or t h e then i will simply say bro the will remain as it is if i have if i go to cattle t a t as a prefix i have as my root word so that will be added okay was there is nothing w a s okay it is as it is rattled yeah i have r a t as a prefix so i should add that by okay by is there the the is there simple like which means the is not there in my root battery yeah bat is there for battery so and this is the shortest one also so have it bat so that is my answer now very basic brute force approach which comes to your mind is bro aryan i have my dictionary so i know it's kind of i realized what you were trying you were trying as you were telling also you were trying okay you have a cattle so you will split it you will take prefixes you will take c you will take ca you will take cat you will take catt you will take cattl you you will take cattle you will take the prefixes of the string and try to find in your dictionary which is root so again find in root finding finding it easier we will use another set or another map so what i will do i will make for my dictionary which is representing my root i will make a unordered set or an unordered map for my dictionary and i know let's again take this words in consideration imagine you have d d strings in your dictionary here in this case my d is 3 because i have cat bat and rat now for every string in my dictionary assume its average length so as to be w now why we are taking average length just so as to define the complexity you can take the worst case also it's totally up to you now uh i took okay average length is let's say 3 if it it would have been even b a t t then still i would have taken okay 3 or 4 take up to you which you can take maximum length also totally up to you so i realized so as to push all these strings in my unordered map or an unordered set i will take o of d into w time because d is the number of strings and every string is having w number of characters okay now now comes the part where i have to go on and iterate on my sentence now sentence is a string right you have to firstly split the string based on the delimiter which was a space so as to obtain individual strings on which i can start operating and start taking prefix so for the individual string the i will take okay the first possible root or the first possible prefix can be d because i want shortest so i'm starting from the smallest prefix then i will go on to bigger prefix then bigger prefix and whenever i say i'm going on to any prefix i will go and find that prefix in my dictionary i cannot find it okay so at any point as you can see i cannot even find a t so i know the entire string will be my answer entire string will be my answer so if i cannot find my t okay 
प्लीज ब्रो रिटर्न द एंटायर दैट इज योर एक्चुअल आंसर स्ट्रिंग द ओके इन कैटल टाइफ ऑफ सी सी ए सी ए टी सी ए टी टी बट एट सी ए टी इट सेल्फ आई वॉज एबल टू फाइंड माई आई वॉज एबल टू फाइंड माई आंसर सो ब्रो वेल डन and you are also always able to find c you are also always able to find ca right that represents okay you are maybe approaching your answer you are maybe approaching your answer at any point if you are not able to find then simply return the entire word itself this is a word this is one word itself okay was you cannot even find a w here at all as you can see you cannot even find a w so simply return was itself that's the entire string so here the answer was a cat Here the answer was a was. Here the answer was a the. For here, if you have R, okay, R is there. Yeah, R A is there. As in, like you can also make all of these. But I will say you have to go and try for all the possible, all the possible substrings in this case. Because either you can make for every prefix you can make in your hash map or a hash set. But I will say go and try for all of these strings is. the same way saying you are making the you are making a storing for all of the prefixes of your dictionary right so i will say use less space and go on to all of your strings substrings or prefix strings in your sentences so you can easily see okay r a t r a t was there okay i'm good same way b or b y okay then i think was there answer is b y T T T my T H T H E nothing is there answer T H E same way I will go and here I will get the bat so it's a prefix which is there answer is bat now when I have got all the answers by comparing with my hash map I am good to say that my answer is the cat was rat by the bat I don't know what it means but yeah it is the answer now what is the complexity we realize to make a hash map as we are only generating the hash map for these only thus the time used will be d d into the W and also the space used will also be d into w but aryan why did you tell us that one other option is that we can make our hash map by taking the prefix string of our dictionary which means i can take a hash map of c c a c a t also this is the case i told you just because interviewer can modify your question by saying aryan imagine that a dictionary size is very small and sentence size is very big or he can say i in imagine dictionary size words are very small and sentence size are very big so he can modify or tweak so you should be knowing that what you should compute here we are computing all the substring of sentences or i can compute all the substrings of dictionary here in this case in the you will see that we have thought okay let's only keep dictionary and we will compute all the substrings and when i say substring i mean only the prefix string and you can see if the length is 3 three prefix string will be there length length is 5 5 sorry length is 6 six prefix string will be there so if a length of a string is s or w then the number of prefix strings will also be w so we realized for each string s having a length of w i will have w such prefix strings prefix strings and we know each prefix string has a length of let's say worst case w itself thus the time complexity to basically search for all these strings in my hash map will be o of s number of strings are s every string is like every string generates w number of prefix strings and each prefix string in worst case can be of length w thus this is this is a time complexity and For 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 sure, the space used will only be of your hash map or hash set. Thus, the total time and space will be this. Now, can we provide it? For sure, we can. We were repeating the same word again and again. What was that? Prefix string, prefix string, and thus we can use a try. If you had watched the simple video, go and watch it. For the syntax, what I have been always using, please go and watch word break. Now coming on back, we will simply do one thing. We will simply build a try for our input search. My input search was my dictionary, so I will build a try for that. How to build a try? Simply imagine you have a root node. Then okay, C A T, C A T, B A T. Do do I have a B existing? No, B A T. Do I have a rat? Okay, no. 
R A T. Again, I am imagining you know a tri. If don't go and watch the above video. Now V. Okay, when a tri is built, this is same way saying my search space is built. Now I can try start searching. But remember what you wanted. You wanted that for input string. For input string. I will try for the prefixes as soon as I am exactly able to find my prefix. I will see exactly able to find my prefix in my dictionary. I will say, okay, this is my actual prefix what I wanted. So when you will try to find C, C A, C A T, you should make sure okay, C A T at C A T is the actual end of my prefix. So make sure to put a end variable boolean variable to say that this is end of my dictionary root word this is the end of my dictionary root word c or a is not the end of my dictionary root word this is not even there c or a is not there in my dictionary so make sure that part same way for bat t is the end of my dictionary root word now coming on back we will simply again firstly do one operation split the string Again, imagine you have split the string. Now start searching that split word. So I will search for that the. Okay. T, T, T. Okay. T is not even there. If something is not there, return the entire word directly. Cattle. C. Okay. C is there. A. Okay. A is there. T. Yeah. T is there. Oh, T is ended also. So this is the smallest possible. Again, why smallest? Because I have found this first. Smallest possible prefix which I could get. So C, A, T is my answer for this. Okay. W. W. Okay. I don't have, don't, don't even have a W. So was is the answer, which is the entire word. Rattled. Okay. R, 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 A, R, I have. A. Okay. A, I have. T. Okay. T, I have. Okay. So my answer is rattled. Which means, sorry, my answer is rat. Because I end it here. So I will maintain. What is my string, which I maintain. Okay. So I will maintain. Okay. R is so far there. A. Okay. R, A is there. Which means T. Okay. R, A, T is there. So answer is R, A, T. R, A, T. Okay. Bye. So for B, okay. B, I have. Yeah. Uh, why? Okay, why I don't have? Oh, why I don't have? So can I say that B is the prefix string? No, because B never ended. So there is no is end variable true. So B never ended here. So this is not my root. So I will say, okay, by is the entire answer. So you saw that B was there, but still Y was not there, but still I could have said that B could have been a root variable, but it my B did not end here. That's the reason I needed a end as true. Cool. Okay. The we don't have, even have a T here. So the entire the will come. Battery. Okay. B. Sorry. B is here. A is here. T. Okay. It ended here. So B A T is the answer. So that's how with a simple prefix tree you can build your answer. Now, what is the complexity? Simply, we realize to build this entire tree, we are iterating on all these strings. And for all these strings, in worst case, I imagine that their word length is W. So in worst case, you are going on to all the characters combined string so it will be d into w same time as that of uh, above but now for the search time it will be reduced why because for this the you will start again imagine this cattle only for this cattle you will start with c then you will go on to the next character you are not starting back from the very beginning you are not starting with c a now you are going on to just a then you are, you are going on to just t then t this is you are going on to all the character just once because of this try which we have built thus the, the time complexity for the search for again imagining i have s words and each word is have, having an average length of w so time complexity will be s into w to search my entire sentences in my try and ultimately the time complexity total will be t in sorry d into w plus s into w and we know we build a try only for our prefix tree so the space will be d into w only now coming on back how the code will look like firstly we know that we will have to build a try. We'll have to build a try for our dictionary words. So I will call this build function where I will pass in each string and each string will be building my try. Before building a try, you need to have a try node, which again, you have the same syntax I have been using. So I take a node where it is a character. I will take its children. I can take as a vector of a try node star also, but I usually try to take an unordered map. It is simple and easy to imagine also and very generic. Right, so I will take an unordered map, taking the child, and then is boolean. Okay, true or false, say it is end or not. When the constructor will be initialized with a node, I will mark its is end as false because okay, is end. I will specifically mark as true when I know the string has ended, and I will initialize my character. This is my try node. Sorry, this is my sorry, this is my try node which I have built. Make sure to put the public here. I usually put public just globally. I don't know why, but yeah. Now it's not a good practice for oops. Make sure that part. Now coming on back, 
uh, we know that we should initialize our root. If you remembered our try, we built a root also. So as to start from that root itself. So I made a global root variable. You can initialize in your constructor of solution also. It's totally up to you. Uh, but I initialized as a global variable in my solution class. And I said, okay, root. And I initialized in my main function. Root will be a new try node having a slash. Now, I will go on to my entire dictionary and will build my try. How I build my try? I will simply go and firstly get the current node. Then if the child is not there, make a child and then move to my child. The entire syntax in my video, which I have given description and comments. Now, as soon as the entire word is ended, make sure to mark the end as a true. Cool. Now, when the entire string is built, just simply go on and split these sentences. You have the string as sentence now split that basis on a delimiter which was a space in this case usually you have string stream and in java you also have split functions but usually in c plus plus you have string stream but string stream is not that generic and again it's a very like diff, like tricky to understand and stuff so i always write my own function which is split string it is simply say again you can use a string stream function also it simply says that bro grab a start and end based on the delimiter and while my string is not ended grab the substring push that in your answer and then simply return that answer this is again just my preference how i split the string totally up to you how you want to do it now when the split string is done you will start getting your answers how for all the split string iterate and query on your try which you have built so i will iterate on the split string vector which i have got above and i will query my try for that split string to find the string which is the prefix string so i will query my try by simply saying okay bro root current node and then i will keep on building my string right and i will go on to my all the characters if i cannot find a character simply return the entire word which i was about to search entire word and else okay move on to my child move on to my child make sure as you're moving on to my child keep on building your answer which is the current string because you know b b a a came in so b a t came in b a t so this is how you are building again this is the o of one operation right don't be confused because you are adding a character so constructor of string is defined such that plus equal to for a character is a simple pushback operation with a character now as if it is an end if you have reached if current is end which means you have reached b a t t is is end is true then return that string which you have built because you have got a good root with you and that's the smallest possible root. If not, if not, if you have tried everything, still you have not got the answer, make sure to return the word itself in the end. Now, when this is done, you will get the possible prefix root with you. Make sure you want to build, again, you have got one of these strings. If you go back, um, you have, if you go back, yeah, you have got one of these strings, the, but before next string, which is the cat, you have to put a space here. So, and again, this space is put only between the characters and not after the last string. So make sure, just uh, do one thing. If your i is not equals to the last index, make sure to add a space, else don't add a space at all. Just one thing that this is not the most optimal solution to add these strings. What I mean by that is, if you have answer, if you add a string ABC, so, entire answer you have to copy abc entirely so this let's say answer was p b, uh, answer was pqr you added a abc so in pqr entire abc is added and then the a and the string is added so it will become a pqr abc let's say again pqr uh, space was there and then abc so pqr space and then abc space next time when i will add a def so this time will be taken to iterate on the entire string and again a def time will be taken. So this operation is existing string size, let's say answer size is n. This size is let's say m. So this operation of addition is actually taking O of n plus m time. Rather I can optimize if I iterate on this character by character on this entire string. So I can optimize it by saying take O of m time only if you are adding only m characters in your string. Cool. This is a property of C++ only. That's the thing I told. Okay, it should be good that you, you guys should know. Although still, it will not impact that much. But okay, I can I told you that how you can optimize a little bit of this portion of code, how you append your string in your answer. Cool. Now, ultimately, we realize the time and space property and that is the most optimal answer. Cool. 
I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye. Take care. Make sure to join the Discord and watch the comment section for your perfect lecture. Bye bye. Take care.